So you should draw over JPEG to have that extra flexibility and control over the image in post-production. But developing RAW can be a hassle. Not only it requires a specialized software which can cost as much as your camera, but also a powerful machine to run on. Meaning you cannot do this anytime, anywhere. Actually, you can using a smartphone. In this video, I will show you how you can edit RAW images on your phone, whether it's Android or iOS for free using Google Snapseed. A lot of people use a Snapseed but they don't know that it can actually be used to develop RAW files and not just DNG RAW files from your smartphone but actually any of RAW files from your camera. So let's get started. The very first step is to make sure that you have latest version of Snapseed. I will show you two methods of opening RAW files in Snapseed. The first method works on both iOS and Android. Simply send the raw file to your device via Google Drive. Open the image in Google Drive and click on the three dots on the top. Then tap on send a copy and then select a Snapseed. Now wait for the image to load in Snapseed. Keep in mind this is a very CPU intuitive task and this might take a minute or two depending on your phone's processor speed. Sometimes it might take forever. The trick is to cancel it first and then going back to raw develop. It will load much faster this way. Once the image is loaded in a step seed, you can do all the different tweaks to the image like exposure, highlight, shadows, temperature, etc. Once you are done, click on the tick mark on the bottom right and you will be sent to the main screen on Snapseed. You can go back to raw tool by going in tools then develop. There is another way of doing this. Simply locate the raw file in your SD card. I am using ES File Explorer and I highly recommend it. Tap on the file. As you can see the explorer is asking me which app I want to open this file with and Snapseed is on the list. If you don't see Snapseed, tap on photos then share the image to Snapseed. Wait for the image to load in Snapseed. An important setting that you might want to change in Snapseed is to change the size and quality of the image that will be exported. Once you are done editing, click on done and the image will be saved in a Snapseed folder. So guys that's how you can edit raw images on your phone for free. Smash that like button if this video was helpful. Share this video with your photographer friends and help them out. Consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.